Sage Wonderer here coming at you from Shawnee, Oklahoma. So I wanted to touch base with y'all and talk about the channel for a minute. So as many of you know, I have been uh, expanding the scope of the channel, the quality of the videos have been improving, and I have branched out onto other platforms. So now I'm also on Facebook. You can find me there, a Sage Wonderer on Facebook. Also, uh, you can find me on Gab. Many of you have. Uh, I'm trying to keep up with all of this. It just means more time spent keeping up with all the different venues, uh, platforms, as it were. And I'm also now on Rumble. I've got two videos up on Rumble and, of course, here on YouTube as well. And that will continue. I'm going to continue to diversify and, uh, you know, cast my seed on uh, many waters, as it were. So I also wanted to kind of talk about how each one of those venues is slightly different. Here on YouTube, the algorithms and the, uh, uh, and the community guidelines and, and kind of the atmosphere here causes me to censor myself a great deal. And I tend to talk in code so that I do not uh, acquire too much negative attention. And so on Facebook, honestly, I think that atmosphere is probably even worse. So on Facebook, my intention is for those of you who are, who are viewers of the channel here and you're still on Facebook, then I'm hoping that you will draw the people in uh, to the Facebook page who are completely unaware of maybe what's going on or completely unaware of, uh, of me and this channel, for instance, for sure. And... Just look at that like kind of like the soft entrance because it's going to be story time. It's going to be coffee talk. It's going to be, you know, uh, some of my, uh, uh, we call it videos that have been um, around for a long time. So my legacy videos like uh, MK Ultra Trainer and, um, you know, my True Crossroad story and stuff like that. And so that's going to be available there to kind of introduce people to me as a, as a storyteller and, and as an artist and as a commentator, whatever it is I am, YouTube personality. I guess now that I'm on a, a lot of different places, I can call myself a content creator. I was trying to explain to a non-tech person what a content creator was the other day. And because when you're not just on one platform, you're creating content for multiple platforms. I'm also writing now. You might have seen the small essay I did on the Sage Wanderer Facebook page. Um, which one of my viewers uh, compared it to the diary of the uh, character in Dances with Wolves when he's writing in his diary. And I thought, that's a great compliment because that was some really good writing. But I intend to do more writing. Uh, that, will, that will be seen on Gab and on Facebook. And likewise, what I write about on Facebook will be esoteric and kind of spiritual. What I write about on Gab may be more pointed and political. My view to YouTube videos are going to be what they've always been, but there's going to be a new type of video I'm going to be releasing over on the uh, Rumble platform where uh, we can all just get ready to rumble. And um, so this is going to be more hard-hitting. I'm going to test their tolerance over there. And some of you will see a side of me that you're not used to seeing. And I'm going to start a whole new series over there, and it's going to be uh, pretty much called uh, How I Really Feel, or What Sage Really Thinks, something like that. What Sage Really Thinks. And I'm going to tackle some of the big controversial subjects, and I get to use the language I want to use. I'll be able to express to you in very, very clear and uncertain terms where I stand on a lot of things that I tend to glide around so that I avoid too much uh, too much uh, negative uh, impact I suppose you know we're in survival mode around here it's survival of the fittest so I think I'm doing pretty good but I wanted to just let you know what was up I'm not going away from YouTube unless they send me away and I'm gonna do my best to try to keep my videos within their comfort zone and I'll use some of these other platforms to say some things that are more racy. And I'll use some of these other platforms that are even less tolerable than YouTube to reach out to people. You know, I met another one of my neighbors recently. 
And I was really surprised how they seem to have swallowed the mainstream media take on just about everything. And they uh, had not been exposed to what I call uh, alternative media at all. And it made me realize that just because you live in Oklahoma doesn't know doesn't mean you um, have have learned to see past the propaganda war that's going on. It doesn't mean that you're awake just because you're in a in a state that's awake. And just because you're in Oklahoma and Texas and you and, and you know if you if you guys don't know this Oklahoma and Texas are about to come to blows with the federal government on multiple levels, especially Texas. Where Texas goes, I think Oklahoma will likely follow, along with a few other states as well. Tennessee's had about enough as well. So, you know, there's some stuff brewing, and, and you know, my uh, my neighbors seem to really unaware of anything except the mainstream media explanation for everything that's going on. And so... At any rate, I see that I might need to do some local work as well. Someone had talked about me running for office. I don't know. I may just start a direct mail campaign to make sure that all the people in my area of Oklahoma understand that you cannot trust what you're seeing in the press. And you need to find alternative sources of information so that you can weigh and measure for yourself the truth versus the lies and the contradictions and the hypocrisy that is eating up. Honestly, it's it's alive on both sides of this of this uh, conflict, and there are people from both sides gaslighting everyone, and it's a struggle to find the truth. And I feel like that uh, I need to make sure that everyone in my vicinity, at least, has a grasp of the information and the the the, the truth that is being covered up and suppressed and omitted you know it's not what they tell you in the mainstream media so much is it it's what they don't tell you it's the stuff they're leaving out honestly i don't think you know what's going on in this world unless you watch sky news out of australia you watch rebel news out of canada in canada they're locking people up in communist style concentration camps because they won't promise to close their church on Sunday. They have a they have a pastor right now locked up in a maximum security prison. He's not even allowed to talk to his family. His cellmates coming down off methamphetamines and they put this pastor in there of a rather large church in a rural area in Canada because he refused to stop having church services on Sunday because of the lockdowns. So, unless you're watching local news, you know, if you're, you, it, I watch local news from around the world. That's the way to get the truth. Don't look at the amalgamated soup, the stew, the soil and green version of information that they sell to the public is propaganda. And if you want to know the truth, you got to go to the source. So I, I really encourage everyone to not even just, don't even just listen to me because I'm not a huge fountain of information, right? I'm the old wise guy that you want to might want to ask uh, advice of. I'm somebody with a great story and a great past. And yes, I have a good grasp about what's going on right now, the grasp on current events. However, I encourage people to go out on their own and become your own reporter. This little device I'm speaking to you on right here allows you to go out into the world and collect information at its source and you no longer have to listen to the talking heads at mainstream media. And if you do, you might find yourself living in a reality that is very different from the actual reality. My friend, my neighbor, I felt like is living in a bubble of misinformation. And uh, I'm going to make it my goal in life to get to know him and and try to help him understand because we're facing really some incredible circumstances and a plot has unfolded that has become evident to most anybody who's plugged in and paying attention and my friends we are in dangerous times so as I diversify the channel I'm going to go into more detail about what I really think on some other formats while trying to go along with to go along to get along <laughs> here on the uh, YouTube uh, network and expect some exclusive information to come out, some exclusive opinions, how's that, of current events on other platforms where I have a little more freedom. 
but I'm not leaving my hometown of YouTube and uh, I will be here for you guys if I have to talk in pig Latin till my face turns blue. God save our republic.